Hi everyone, it's Taff. Welcome to City Car Driving Simulator Home Edition. This is uh, it was a simulator which has been created to help learner drivers to gain more experience um, before they do their tests, and also once they've completed their tests, to give them a little bit of confidence with um, road behaviour, doing their manoeuvres, that kind of thing. Um, as you can see, this is this is the basic the, uh, the startup screen, and you have Korea which we'll come to in a minute. Then you have free driving where you can set which track or, or part of the city you want to go. So you've got the test track, you've got the old district, you've got modern district, motorway, highway, country roads, southern district, mountainous area. Um, so you've got various different landscapes to drive through. You get various cars from the little Lada Learner, whatever it is, to um, saloons, to vans, to trucks, to faster, sportier looking cars, to old, uh, old ass trucks and um, various different cars. Uh, which you can unlock as you go and you can complete it which is great um, I just need to get one I can get so I can go back great uh, you can also change the uh, density and the behavior if you make it more aggressive and all that kind of thing you can change the time date weather all that kind of jazz uh, and do a free, free, free route or you can set your own you know violations of speed and that kind of thing so that's just free driving um, but in Korea we actually have our learning. So you start as a driving school student, go to novice, experience, and professional tasks. These all are available to us. As you can see, I've had a little bit of practice uh, with the school student. Um, so that one is basically car starting. You start the car, you put it in gear, you drive forward, you stop. You do actually turn a corner, but that's as exciting as that one gets. Then we have our maneuvers. So we have reverse parallel parking, which you can see I've completed. I got two of three stars. So I, I, um, I didn't get the perform it in 25 seconds, um, but I did get as close to the right side as possible to the edge eagle eye achievement, which is quite good. So I'll just do that one again, just to show you. You can you can redo them. Uh, so this is it in car, in car view. As you can see, it's quite nice. We're in the um, the off road testing lab where we can do uh, everything we want, all our maneuvers with uh, complete safety. So. First thing, this is a simulation, so we need to put our seatbelt on, which I've selected my down arrow key. Nice. Handbrake off, uh, and let's start the engine. Clonkering gear. Uh, there you go. Sorry, I had my uh, I thought on the clutch still. Right, so we go to the start, and as you can see, this is the manoeuver. I'm going to do this slowly. I'm not going to worry about the time straight, so we can just see what we're doing. So we need to drive forward and then reverse park into this bay here. So try not to hit any of the um, any of the things. So we'll we'll reverse now. Trying to follow the yellow line and try not to hit any of the uh, of the thing. Are we in? Uh, let's pull forward a little touch bit. Alright, and then put the handbrake on to park. Boom! Congratulations, task successfully completed. So there you go, we can just practice our um, manoeuvres. We've got the zigzag, which is very similar to... Uh, well, what do you expect? Got seatbelt on, engine on, handbrake off. And so we pull up to the start, and then we'll have to zigzag through the cones. Start, go, okay. So this is, again, you can't do this at any great speed. Well, you probably could, but you'll probably fail. So we're just gonna go slowly, just to show you what to do. And obviously this is just getting people's hand-eye coordination when they're driving, so they're, stop before you get to the stop line, okay. Brilliant, task successfully completed. Obviously we didn't do it particularly quickly, but I was just trying to show you um, what's what. Uh, so the other two stars you can gain from doing it within 20 seconds. And perform in reverse. Okay, well, well, maybe another day. Maybe another day. Hill start. Okay, as you can see, I aced the hill start. Um, you get that for performing a hill start, not rolling backwards, and performing it within 25 seconds. So yes, if you're learning to drive, this is actually. Oops. Um, Seatbelt on, in gear, handbrake off. Right. So this will give you the basics of how to do a ham uh, a hill start. So go to the start. We're going to go up the ramp until we stop and stop, handbrake on, then obviously you need to find the clutch biting point, and once you got there, handbrake off, we roll back a little bit there, but ideally you want to hold it so you don't roll back at all, and then you'll get the full marks, stop, there we go, task completed, great, we did have a little roll back, so we probably would have only got two of the three stars for that one, 
Now, city car driving. Haven't done this one, so let's have a let's have a read. You are to drive on the test route along nearly empty city streets. There are pedestrian crossings, signal controlled and uncontrolled intersections, and roundabouts on the route. Perform the task to get to the city driving achievement. Perform the task with the total of penalty points below five to get the no violations in the city achievement. Perform the task within five minutes to get the swift as an arrow achievement. Okay, so we're going to do a basic drive through the city with light traffic, which sounds relatively easy, but you'd be surprised what you can fail on in this game. It dishes out penalties left, right and centre, so this is a really good place to come and hone your pro driving skills. Start to follow the route. Okay, so let's um, uh, start the engine after the seatbelt was on, of course. It's getting a bit dusk, so let's stick some lights on. Uh, handbrake off. Uh, where are we going? Ah, there's the, the route in the top. Um, okay, I'll just put it in neutral so I can find a gear. So let's just back up. Um, use the mirrors to back up nicely, 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 nicely. Okay, that's good. Now, go forwards. And we're going to take a right hand turn out of this. We've got the sat nav in the um, top corner. Note, turn right into the next intersection. Okay, that's our instructor. There's nothing coming, so we should be good. Don't bump the curb. Turn in. It's a lovely sunset. We've got to keep an eye on the speed as well. Um, we'll, we'll idle at 30. We need to go along this road. Um, pedestrian crossing. There's no one about, so we'll zip over. Another pedestrian crossing, no one about. See, I'm expecting the uh, pedestrians to leap out in front of me. Uh, you can hit them. Um, so we roundabout ahead, second exit on the roundabout. Okay. Drop down a gear. Go in the middle lane. And we'll indicate as we go past the exit, the first exit, to go right. Nothing inside, so we'll pull in. Oh, it's like doing your driving test again, it's nerve wracking. Exit the ring is allowed, only I can use that. Okay, we're down to 14 points, we've already lost some points as well. So he's not turned left after 300 meters, so he's not particularly happy with our driving performance so far. Ah, oh, see, we lost some more because we didn't use the turn left signal when we changed lanes. See, they'll penalize you for everything. After 100 meters, turn left. Oh, God. So it is quite a challenge to try and, even you know, somebody who's been driving for numerous years, it's still a bit of a challenge. Okay, we could probably pull up a little bit more. Yeah, so we're going to go down there. Oh god, we're down, almost down to half our allowable points anyway, so we're not doing particularly well. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. But yeah, it's, it's got full um, support for the G25, G27 uh, steering wheels. Whoa, somebody did, did a Yui. He would have failed this test. Um, and for track IR and all that. So you can have as realistic an experience as possible currently with the game. Obviously, unless you've got like a full simulation mode. After 100 meters, turn left. Okay, we'll stay in this, in this lane then. And we'll indicate to turn left. That guy's probably going to step out right in front of us. Okay, we haven't dropped any more points. Old lady on the side there. Yeah, this is as probably it's pretty damn. Oh, it's obviously it doesn't really generate the full sensation of driving because you can't unless you're in the car. But it's it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's got a real nice feel. The physics feel nice. Um, the cars feel good. It, it penalises you for everything. So you know if you don't. If you don't indicate one changing lanes, all those, even though you can get away with that in real life, if there's no traffic around you, this will penalise you because it is being very judgmental and very um, very strict on your driving behaviour, which is a good thing because obviously it, it's there to try and get you to pass your test. You can bump and cause crashes and all sorts of craziness, and you can run over pedestrians, So, um, and they do do a horrible eek when you do hit them. Uh, we maybe do that later, but not in our, not while we're playing, uh, playing to win. And you'll 
also get speeding fines as well. This has got quite a bit of coke, this car, but I'm just, just easing it around because we're just going to do a nice cruise of the city to show the instructor that we are a good driver. And after I've been picking up my pro driving skills, then uh, we've got to do this right. I'm not sure what the speed limit is here, to be honest with you, so I'm just sitting at 50 kilometers an hour, thinking that feels about right. We haven't lost any more penalty points since the uh, the sw swapping lanes problem, and we've got less than a kilometre to go, so fingers crossed we should be able to third exit at the roundabout. So I'm guessing we probably need to um, turn left single, not use when changing lanes. I bloody did. You liar. You lie. You lie. Okay, so you have to be really strict because it's it's got very... Um, You've got to be careful with, oh there we go, with fails. We've got red. He's pinging me for my indication. Alright, we're going to go in this one, exit the roundabout. So we've got to, we've failed the test basically, we've failed the test, but we're going to complete it anyway because it's been very, very strict, very harsh on our indication. So it's saying we didn't indicate for long enough, although we did indicate, it's not happy with how we did it. Oh, I've got, got in the wrong lane anyway, so let's indicate back. Uh, and of those 20 penalty points, well, we've only got two left. So um, we failed this test, as I said. Uh, it's harsh, but you know it is. It's forcing you to get into good behaviour. Whereas you know, after you've been driving for a few years, you do lose. Well, you adapt to every other road user. So you know, you do develop bad habits, and uh, and you know, when you're swapping lanes, you don't always indicate. Park on the right hand side of the road. Anywhere? How about here? We've had enough. Park on the right hand side of the side, get out, that's what he's saying. Such an Achievement! City driving! Oh we got it! Okay. Fine, okay, I thought we'd failed, but okay, I guess you got twenty point I I don't know. We got it anyway. Hooray! Oh, we, we, we didn't get... Okay, fine. So we've now progressed into a novice driver. New available, we've unlocked the southern district and new vehicles available. Wow, okay. So what we didn't do uh, is perform that in less than five minutes and perform the... Ah, oh, okay. So that was a that was an added bonus to perform it with, um, with more than five penalty points left. Okay, so that's fine. So novice driving, we've got yard driving. You are to drive out of the yard. However, don't if sorry you don't remember the route and your GPS navigator is no use well we've had that experience before moreover driving becomes more complicated due to pedestrians and lots of parked vehicles or vehicles parked um, yeah some, some of the English isn't great uh, performing the task to get the yard driving achievement perform the task with no penalty points to get the safe driving achievement perform the task within three minutes to get the that's my district achievement. Okay, so you can see how this develops. So this was, I'm going to leave it there. It's 15 minutes. That's fine. Uh, I just want to give you a taster of what it is to come with city car driving. I may do more if you want to see more. Uh, and we can see how my driving um, my driving uh, stands up to the, uh, the rigors of the, uh, I think this is Russian. Uh, the rigors of the Russian driving test. It's, uh, it's not faring terrible. Well, I'm, I'm scraping through, basically. Um, but I'm doing okay. So there you go, City Car Driving Simulator. I'll stick a link um, in the description below where you can go and check it out should you want to uh, have a go for yourself. And I'll also leave a link to the the sale page, which I believe I've spoken to the guys and they can give a slight discount on, which should be great. And it also helps myself out as well. So if you're interested, I'll leave the links below where you can get this game. But as I said, if you're interested, let me know in the comments and I will do more just in case you're not sure if you want to buy this or not. If this, if this does interest you and you think you want to see more, let me know and we'll do more and we can go from there. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this and I will see you next time.